congratulations to both of you on such a successful press run so far and having this film come out. How does it feel reading, or I don't know if you've read the reviews or not, but they're glowing. So how does it feel putting this film out there? Listen, uh, I heard that the, uh, the reviews are, are positive. I'm very uh, pleased with that. I can't wait to share the movie with the world. I can't wait for the audience to watch. That's going to be the true test for me. I also wanted to ask, were there any lessons you learned from the first one that you wanted to do a little bit differently in part two for both of you? M on my side, sorry, on my side, multiple. It would be too long <laughs> to enumerate, but as a film director, I, 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 uh, there's uh, so many things. That, uh, you learn from your mistakes, and uh, each movie is a, is a, is a learning process. So, uh, of course, I try to, to uh, improve a lot a bit, uh, as a director between both movies, yes. Okay. It's a very supportive production, and I would say that legendary Mary Parent, who's one of the producers, allowed me to become a full producer on this film, and therefore it was a bigger title, more responsibility, and I was, you know, I wanted to rise up to the this honor and the responsibility, so it's a truly wonderful experience. I love that. Well, I know another big surprise during the press run was Anya Taylor-Joy uh, announced as joining the cast. What was it like keeping that a secret, and what was the reason behind keeping it under wraps? I think that Hollywood is the most gossip town on earth and I wanted as an experiment to see how long we could keep a secret. <laughs> and we no did but it. yeah we did it. It was like uh, uh, we did the, like uh, uh, it was a special unit. We went uh, into a, we went in Africa in Namibia to shoot with uh, Anya uh, uh, under super secrecy and I just loved the idea to keep something uh, 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 like a surprise for the audience until the, the very end. It was just a way it was like a, 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 a gift that I wanted to to keep for the fans. Another person joined the cast, Austin Butler. I know you mentioned that he went 25% method for this. So what was it like directing him when he's in the mindset of such an evil character? It, it was really frightening. I mean, when we were, I was, uh, 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 the camera was, was rolling, it was witnessing like a total metamorphosis, like a, someone that he was really becoming like an evil, psychotic, sexy, serial killer. It was like a, a very... Uh, Mind-blowing to see such a sweetheart becoming so ugly and evil in a split second like that. That was, um, yeah, it was something to, to, to witness. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can't even imagine. I, I Finally, I just wanted to quickly ask about Dune Messiah. Where are we in the process? Uh, it's a, we are in the writing process. I, I just finished part, we just finished part two, uh, uh, so uh, I, I need the time to, to write. It, it, those movies are not, um, uh, it, easy to write it's like it's, it's a I would just add though that seeing the enthusiasm of the fans to a potential part three has been inspiring um, I think can you absolutely, say that absolutely. <laughs> well I'm sure it's a big undertaking too yes yes it's it's uh, I just think that uh, I agreed to make part one and part two back to back and uh, now I think I will need just to to digest all this experience and and um, find a, I just want to come back with a strong screenplay it's almost done, but it needs work a bit now. Yeah. A little bit more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank you so much for both stopping by. Congratulations.